I wanted to show this great product that I've used recently. It's called Birchwood Casey Aluminum Black. Now, I didn't even know something like this existed until recently. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are, are aware that if you get a blued steel gun, you can get liquid blue touch up, and it will chemically alter the steel to turn it to turn it black, basically. And it doesn't work with aluminum. And I thought if you had a problem with your aluminum finish that you had to pretty much paint it black. I never tried that because there'd be no way to get the color correct. But I found out that this right here is the same thing pretty much as liquid blue for steel. But it, but it chemically alters the aluminum alloy and turns it black. So it works really, really well. The only downside of it is, is it's not 100% permanent and it's not quite as good as the original finish. What I mean by that is it will wear off like after probably 50 whole strings of this it starts to kind of wear out again on a couple of these spots like there's a little spot up here on the muzzle that's a little off there's one that's been behind the uh, cylinder release but overall it works good and if you're going to maybe sell your gun trade it in and you want it to look great and get you know the most value you can get out of it then this would be a good product or if you want to take photos of your gun or if you just want it looking good all the time I'm going to demonstrate how it works on this line here from the cylinder I mean that's that's supposed to be there every gun has that but that's exposed aluminum so I'm going to put some on that just to demonstrate how this stuff works pretty much let's take a q-tip and apply it let it set for about a minute. I'm going to put it on kind of thick here. I mean, put it on real wet. And this will definitely wear off really, really quickly. Because this is going to be rubbing here. And it's not supposed to be. It's not a... This part isn't supposed to stay blued or black. I put it on pretty thick here. If you can see, it's starting to discolor it a little bit. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this part here because that's not uh, that, that's going to get stripped off anyway next time I close the cylinder but you let it set about a minute and just for time's sake I'll finish it now you just uh, well actually I'm going to let it set a little bit longer because it's, it's turning a pretty good color And you just take something and you wipe it off. Wipe off the excess. With a, I got a uh, dry Q-tip here. And after that, you rinse it. Rinse it. I use air quotes with that. I take a wet Q-tip with just water on it. And I rub it on there. And I take the end and dry it off. And then when I'm all done with doing whatever I'm going to do, I will just um, oil my gun like normal. If you can see that there, made a significant difference on, on that line, the color of it. Now I'm going to do a, a spot up here that's normally an issue where, where I do care what it looks like, that little spot up there. Take some of this. Put a nice healthy drop on there. I'll just let that set. About a minute. I right, spent about a minute and a half later. Wipe this off here. And it, it didn't do a perfect job. You can still see where there's a little bit of a mark there. But if you do it about three or four times, well, not even that many, maybe two or three times, you just dry it off and come back again. More of that liquid blue. Just leave it set about another minute. does a pretty good job. It, it really matches it. It's a matte type of a black too. Which most of these aluminum um, revolvers are coated in and there's aluminum, black and aluminum pistols. I used to have a Smith & Wesson with an aluminum bottom. Wish I would have known about that product because it, it does a good job on that. But any like Smith & Wesson like a 442 or something like that or any of these these type of revolvers is going to do real well with this stuff. So, all right, wipe that off again. Make a 
wet one. Rinse it, dry it. I mean, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's pretty darn good. So this will get your revolver looking pretty good. There's a couple other spots I did on here and you can't even tell. It just looks like a nice looking gun. So I wanted to share that. But there is a product for aluminum. For basically bluing aluminum. So I'm going to share that. So thanks for watching.